29 minutes past 8. Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Well, continuing a focus on education now, having uh, uh, done some sort of uh, precision, well, no, preceding that at a kicker, if you will, a rider to this theme, uh, looking at the education uh, sector. Well, of course, there are various perspectives to this matter, so we'll just take them one step at a time. But now we'll be uh, we're joined by uh, Mr. Shodunke Oludotu, who is an education consultant. But thank you for coming on this morning. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Uh, looking at starting off with the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board, because you've been involved uh, in students uh, coaching those who go in there for some time now. But it's been mass failure uh, in this results. House of Reps some time ago summoned the registrar of JAMB and. Uh, it's almost the same story. What's going on here again? Okay, thank you, Chamberlain. Um, what, I've, what I have to say about this is that um, I think um, the board during the, the jam registrar, you know, has become too powerful. The man seems to be more powerful than Nigeria itself. Too powerful. He, he has become too powerful. What does he, that ne mean? he needs. He needs. He needs to be curbed. Well, now, in the first place. Yeah. In, the, in the first place, I want to say emphatically, and I stand to be corrected, and I can say it anywhere, that the result of UTME that was released, especially by PPT, pen and pencil test, right, does not reflect the true performance of the students. For the pen and pencil test? Yes, yes. Wh why do you say it doesn't reflect the performance of the students? Okay, very simple. If we, let, let, let's start from here. This is their magazine, the JAM magazine. Yeah. Right. Every year they release this, they bring it, they release this it out. Press pass. Yes, yes, right. the press pass. Now, you can see here, I'll just give you a very simple example here. It was trying to advertise jam, and the only thing he advertised was the CBT. Let me read to your hearing. Just a simple cartoon. From this, since this was released, while they were selling the form, I knew that there was something that would happen to those that would sit for pen and pencil tests. This year, Dibu introduced three forms of UTME test. The first one is PPT, pen and pencil test, which is the old way of sitting for UTME. The second one is called DBT. All over the world, DBT means data-based test or dual-based test. But Dibu in this paper, you can see the meaning of DBT by Dibu. It refers to it as what? Dibu-based test. Is, is Jam Dibu's property? So now, if you ask a typical Nigerian student now, what is DBT? The student will tell you DBT in, in a world conference, for example. The student will tell you DBT means Dibu based test. And you said this is a publication, okay? By newsletter. Jam now, yes, it was given to everybody. For candidates of UTM. Yes. And this is the 2013 edition. Yes. Um, you know, it's, now, now, it's, it's very hard for us to, you know, take that hook, line, and think of No, no, no. We haven't exactly seen the context in which that was, you know, that the boom. No, no, no. Was, it's, it's, was yeah, it's there. Let me it, read your very maybe some PPT people just... paper pencil test, mm -hmm. the usual like previous examination. Mm -hmm. Number two, DBT, referred oh, as yeah. the boom based test. And he explained the meaning. Then the third one, CBT, which is the real meaning under, of a based test. Under what heading is that? That is the three kind of examination that will be given this year. So students can choose is that, one of them. Is that them. what it says there? That it is it. It's here. It's here. Yeah, Chamberlain. It's here. Yeah. I, I can't come with channels and lie. No, I'm not saying that. I'm, Do I'm you understand? It's here. And this is JAM publication, not my publication. Mm -hmm. But let me go further. PPT is the old JAM test. Mm -hmm. The DBT is the combination of the old jam type and computer. That is the questions will appear on system and you will shade with shading paper and, you know, through shading paper and pencil. Then the third one is CBT where the question will be on computer and the answer will be on computer. Now, the PPT test, right, a lot of students went for the PPT test because of course, you know that people don't respond to changes easily. Even though they wanted the CBT but and, and Jam, the DBT. Jam wanted people to sit for DBT and CBT. And I can prove that here through their magazine again. But most of the students went for PPT because they are not used to the CBT. 
And you're that, the that, that, that's, for DBT. That's totally natural. So what happened? But people went for DBT, and on the day of the DBT, of course, the meaning of DBT worldwide is drug-based test, right? Is the question will be on the system, then you use shading paper to answer. But that day, it was only English language, uh, sorry, use of English that was on system, right? Others were done manually, like PPT. That's the first one. Now, the CBT, I said it on an interview I had with The Nation on May 17, that watch it, the CBT students will pass, because they've not, they've not done CBT, right? Then, now, when the result was released, I have a lot of results here. All, most of the CBT, 80% passed, 280, 240. Meanwhile, the PPT students, over a million students, scored less than 200. A lot of their results were held for scanning error, which came through them until we went to protest. And the day we protested right at jump off is right there. They called the boy Jerry Day and he ordered them to release it. Why tormenting the students? Why? What have they done? These are youth. He ordered them to release the results. To release the, the, the one that has scanning problem. Why did you why did you hold those results before? And they and right there, thirty minutes later, we, we told a student to go and check right there at jump office. And he said that ah, they don't release my results too. and everybody started checking. But of course, there was no difference between the result they released and the one they've released before. A lot of students scored below what they expected. What, now what? now now our gross is this. Okay. We are not I, I, I'm not promoting failure. I'm not promoting mediocrity. You know, I'm not saying that when a student fails, we should, we should come out and protest. I'm not saying that. But the only thing I am saying is this. Even those that pass, that scored above 200, they are saying, no, this is not our score. What stops the boo from coming out to defend himself? But hasn't he said that? Because I think if, if I remember what I read somewhere, that there's a process for remarking some of the scripts. God bless you, my brother. Now, I threatened to sue him. So he came on NTA to say there's a process for remarking. I asked for remarking. That is a for remarking. Okay, fine. But the process, you know, was too cumbersome. How will I go to Abuja for remarking? When I had my exam in Lagos here, yeah, when they were selling the form, jam form was so common to the extent that you can buy it at places where they sell Richard cards. The exam centers, you know, if you choose around you, you'll be placed there and so on. Why did you Why will you now ask me for remarking? Why did to you come ask? To Abuja? Don't you have offices in let, let me let me come in here. Why did you ask for some of these to be remarked? Uh, do, do, did you have any of the candidates that you have tutored that you felt uh, shouldn't have come up with uh, such a uh, mark? Of course, given of to course, them? of course. And I'm not even talking on behalf of my candidates alone. I am saying that generally, right, our, look, our education has gone down, but it's not dead. People is trying to say that the education system is dead, that these students, they don't know anything. That's what everybody is saying, and every parent keeps beating their children talking to their words anyhow. This is not real. It's not real. It's not their result. Let the book prove it. We want, what we want is manual marking. Of course, they will say we can't mark 1.7 scripts manually. But we have a lot of volunteers today that if it's okay, come around. Or if it's not going to be done manually, let another person bring their, their, their marking machine. Right? Because the book said that you should come to Abuja, pay 10,000 naira, you will stay in hotel. You know, from Lagos, and over well, 1 million they, they, students they're will subject, be flying that road. A lot of them will uh, a moment here. The subjects chosen by some of these candidates, uh, some also complained that, uh, for instance, yeah, uh, those who chose maybe biology, at the end of the day, they were surprised to get, uh, well, uh, results for CRK. That is, so another, that is another aspect to it. I have a result here. I have a result here. This is, this is a girl that sat for, for um, okay. Now, I have a result here. Use of English, yeah. 38. And no other results. You didn't even write it there that, okay, your math, you cheated, you know, or maybe asterisk, or maybe cancel, nothing. Just 38, what is this? So this person scored 38 over 400. 
So you 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 actually now, excuse sorry sorry ma'am. Mm -hmm. I have another result here. This girl put in for use of English, biology, chemistry, physics. She's going to she wants to study um, I think medicine. Now the result came out. I read English sixty, physics forty two, biology sixty three, biology thirty nine. The bush should come and tell me. Which one is a biology and, and how can somebody... Oh, two biology, oh, well, It's here, it's here, it's here. I, I don't want to reveal this out like this because those jam people, right, as far as I'm concerned, right, they are drowning people and they are looking for, you know, what to do to survive. Do you, do you understand me? Well, so I cannot, that's why I can't reveal the registration number. They will adjust it. But of course I can give channels... Is you can log in. Has there been any proof that they will adjust this kind of thing? Of course, it's adjustable. It's adjustable. Dibu said openly that no student, any student that scored below or above the score that he had earlier, after paying 10,000 in Abuja and going there, taking the risk, that such a student will be given 100,000 naira. He said it on platform, on interview. And they even showed it yesterday, the interview.